lyric I chose for my speech is from the song Style. And when we go crashing down, we come back up every time because we never go out of style. This lyric to me signified strength and perseverance. Every time you get knocked down, you come bounce right back up. Why? Because your story is not over yet, is it? The year is 1940. You are part of a German outfit patrolling through France, keeping an eye out for any British or French soldiers. Simple, right? Easy, right? Wrong. An arrow whizzes past you and implants itself in your compatriot's chest. You're in shock. You don't even hear the battle cries as scores of men come rushing over a hill. And at the helm of that mad dash, there's a man holding a sword? Running right at you, charging, screaming battle cries like a demon. It's the last thing you see. Jack Churchill was his name. A fellow soldier knew him as Mad Jack, and for good reason. An officer of the British Army, Manchester Regiment, he didn't fight as traditional soldiers did. He carried with him a sword, a longbow, and bagpipes. He is the only person to have fought in that war with a confirmed arrow kill. And nearly every battle that he fought in, he charged in with his bagpipes, blaring battle music, bolstering his, his soldiers' morale, and being the first person to make that charge into battle. His skill was so much so that he enjoyed victories not only in France, but in Norway and Italy as well, up until Yugoslavia, 1944. His orders were to take his company and secure a vital hilltop. They encountered heavy resistance from the, Brit from the German forces, even after making their way to the top of said hilltop. Six men in Churchill were all that made it. A mortar shell landed on what remained of his company, incapacitating everyone besides Mad Jack, having no other options left, and with nowhere else to run, he started playing his bagpipes as the Germans advanced. He was then knocked unconscious by a grenade and captured. And yet his story is not over. He'd be damned if he'd let some silly capture be the end of him. The man was built for war, a natural leader. He was kept at a concentration camp for some time, even attempting and failing at escape before being transported as a prisoner of war in late April 1945. Guarded by SS soldiers, the private militia of Germany, the transport consisted of not just Churchill, but other high-value targets, such as other high-ranking German officials. They learned of a plot to execute them, a number of them and pleaded with members of the main German army to save them. <clears throat> Upon hearing this, the main German army went out to intercept those SS soldiers, and a battle broke out between the main German army and the SS soldiers. Seizing that opportunity, under the roar of battle, Churchill made his escape slip out. However, he now found himself in Italy, a hundred miles away from anyone resembling an ally. So what was Mad Jack to do? He walked 95 miles, eight days straight, just to get to safety. And then he shipped right back out into the fight. The war in Europe was already over by that time, but he thought that he could still make it to the Pacific front. But by the time he even ended up anywhere close to it, the war was over, Japan had surrendered, and as he very so eloquently put it, if it wasn't for those damn Yanks, we could have kept the war going another 10 years. John Malcolm Thorpe Fleming Churchill, Fighting Jack. I felt exemplify my lyric the best. When we go crashing down, we come back every time because we never go out of style. Strength and perseverance.